Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through how to change the prices, how to update your database. Go to List, expand your DP pricing database. This one carries all of the parts in the plugin. This template database only carries the parts in your templates. So you'll have to change the prices in both of these databases if the prices change. Let's look at the templates a minute so you understand what I'm saying here. These are template. This is a template in here and these are all templates that you're going to use. So these got all different, you know, these are all prices in that template database and they need to be changed as well as in a DP pricing folder. Now, starting from here down, all these other parts are in the DP pricing database. So this is like your master one. This is the main one and then this one's just for your templates. So let's say we start here with the DP pricing folder and let's say we our drywall just went up or down. So we gotta go over here, we're gonna click on our each and we're gonna change the price. Hit enter, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click uh, this drop down window will open up a calendar and if we click today it'll put today's date in there showing us that the last time we updated this part was 4.9. And then go here and let's change this. I'm not going to use the decimal right now just for this example. So I'll, I'll remember what my prices were. So I'm just going to put 185 or 245 without the decimal so I can go back and change it. Um, so here we just changed four prices. You could go through here and change all the prices that need to be updated. And before you click off of this, just make sure you click this blue check mark. If it's on, turn it off, and then that means it's saved all your changes. And now you can go to your next table you want to change. If you want to change your studs, go into your studs and make all your changes and change the date. And just go through all the parts that need to be updated and make all the changes. And then make sure that this is turned off, this check mark, and go to your next table and make all your changes. So therefore, you'll go through everything and change the prices to the prices you want them to be. Now, we want to close Plan Swift, open up Microsoft Access, and you've got to have access to do this. This is the DP pricing database. We changed our drywall, so we'll look at the drywall, and you can see it's $315 here. I took off the decimal point, so it changed everything in here. And now I need to go into um, the template parts, and I need to go into the drywall here, and I need to change these prices, okay? These prices are still at decimal points. Um, so we need to change the prices in here to the same as the ones that are in the DP database and this is how you do it. You you go over to um, the DP pricing folder. You want to external data, export Why can't I export that? Okay. You got to click on the table you want to export. And then you click on export here. And you browse. Where do you want to put it? Well, I want to put it on my desktop. Okay. So I'm going to put the drywall folder on my desktop. And save it. And make sure you check this export data with formatting and layout. Make sure the check mark's on there. Click OK. And do I want to replace this file? Yes, I already have it on my desktop, so I'm going to replace it. And close. OK, you can do the same thing with all of the tables that you made changes to and that you need to change in the template folder. Say, so if we did our studs, highlight the studs, export it, and save it to the desktop 
And as you can see there, I had it to the desktop, so it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. And I'm going to say yes. Make sure you check this so the check mark comes on. Export data with formatting and layout. It's asking if I want to replace it. I'm going to say yes and close. And do the same thing with my track. Okay, do the same thing with everything. All the tables you change, you need to now export them onto your desktop. Okay, now we can go into our template folder. And here we have our template. The only difference here is the name has changed. This is now template drywall. So we're going to import from the desktop that drywall folder. Double click on that. Make sure this is import source data into new table in a current database. Click OK. And up here, make sure that there's a check mark on the first row. And because we didn't take out this ID number before we updated it, Access is going to, or Access is automatically stick another one in here. Okay, so when I click Next, it just added. Well, let's go again. Right now, it added another column of ID numbers, and it's got ID number uh, one. And so, we need to just keep going. Click to the left side of this, and if you hit Home, you can put Template. Template drywall, name it the same as that the name over here you want it to go in and click finish. And it's gonna ask if you want to replace it, you're gonna say yes and close. Now if you go into the, the template drywall, you see the three hundred and fifteen dollars, these four have been changed. So that's how you update the template database. And do the same thing for all the tables that you changed. Just make sure you change the name. This is template track. So if you're going to import the track into here, you want to do that and rename it template track. Now, we're still looking here at the drywall template, okay, template drywall. Now, see where it, it put that extra column of ID numbers in here? It won't allow you to delete this latest one because it's saying this is the new one that it gave the new IDs. You want to highlight the old one, and you want to delete this field. <clears throat> Permanently get rid of this column. Now you want to go over here and rename this one, and you want to just get rid of the one. So you just want to call this one D um, or ID, ID, okay, and click off of it and click Save. And you have to do this to every table that you import because it's going to give that extra ID column. It's going to add it. So make sure that you go in here and delete it so that there's no errors in your databases. And that's it. That completes this video. I mean, um, just do the same thing for every table. And that concludes this video.